Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Deciding on what A levels to take can be a challenging task for students. With so many options available, it can be difficult to choose which A levels program to pursue. Two of the most popular A level programs are Cambridge A levels and Pearson and Excel A levels. Both these programs are recognized by universities across the globe and can lead to range of exciting career paths. Let's discuss the introduction of these programs. Cambridge Assessment International Education is a department of a University of Cambridge. Cambridge A levels are considered rigorous and challenging, emphasizing independent and critical thinking and preparing students for university level education. Whereas on other hand, Pearson and Excel is owned by Pearson Education, a British multinational publishing company. Pearson and Excel A levels are designed to develop student skills and knowledge in their chosen subjects and enable them to progress to higher education. If we look at the acceptance and recognition, both Cambridge A levels and Pearson at Excel A levels are recognized by universities worldwide. However, it is important to note that the recognition may vary depending on the country or university. For example, in the United Kingdom, both qualifications are recognized by universities, but some university may have a preference for one over the other. Cambridge A levels are typically viewed as more academically rigorous and are highly respected by universities worldwide. Let's talk about the workload and time frame. Cambridge A levels are known for their rigorous curriculum and demanding workload, requiring students to be self-motivated and disciplined. The program typically takes two years to complete, with exams taken at the end of each academic year. Pearson and Excel A levels also usually takes two years to complete. But some subjects may have the option of taking an AS level after one year. Let's talk about exam structure. At Excel Pearson A levels typically consist of modular exams, which means that each subject is divided into smaller units or modules. Student can take the exam for each module separately rather than taking the entire A level exam at once. On the other hand, Cambridge A levels have a linear structure, which means that the exam is taken at the end of two years course. If you look at the assessment criteria, Cambridge A-Level emphasizes independent thinking, problem solving and analytical skills, whereas Pearson and Excel A-Level focus on knowledge, understanding and application of concepts and ideas. In terms of subject difficulty, the two A-Levels program is subjective and may vary depending on the student's strength and weaknesses. However, Cambridge A-Levels are widely regarded as being more challenging than Pearson and Excel A-Levels. If we talk about the grade boundaries, the grading system for Cambridge A-Levels is based on predetermined standards where grade boundaries set by the exam boards. Pearson and Excel A-Levels use a numerical grading system with boundaries set nationally. If you look at the cost comparison, the cost of Excel Pearson A-Levels and Cambridge A-Levels varies depending on the country, institution and a specific subject chosen. In general, Cambridge A-Levels tends to be more expensive than Pearson and Excel A-Levels, but the exact cost varies depending on the location and the examination center. If you talk about the availability of resources, Resources for both Cambridge A-Levels and Pearson and Excel A-Levels are widely available including textbooks, online resources and past papers. In the last, let's talk about the pros and cons of studying Cambridge A-Levels versus Pearson and Excel A-Levels. So let's talk about the advantages of Cambridge A-Levels. Cambridge A-Levels are widely regarded as providing an academically rigorous education, preparing students well for university level studies. Students who complete Cambridge A-Levels often have a deeper understanding of their subjects due to the emphasizes on independent thinking and research. Additionally, the Cambridge A-Level curriculum is standardized across the world, making it internationally recognized qualification. If you look at the disadvantages of Cambridge A-Levels, one potential disadvantage of studying Cambridge A-Levels is the heavy workload and of course challenging curriculum which may not be suitable for all students. Additionally, the exam structure can be intense where students required to complete the AS level and A level exams in a single sitting. On other hand, if we talk about the advantages of Pearson and Excel's A levels, Pearson and Excel A level provide students with a well-rounded education that balances academic rigor with practical skills and knowledge. The curriculum is designed to encourage students to develop their creativity critical thinking and problem solving skills. The modular exam structure of Pearson and Excel A-Levels allows students to break up their studies 
into smaller, more manageable chunks, providing opportunities for revision and assessment throughout the course. In terms of disadvantages of Pearson and Excel A-levels, one potential disadvantage of Pearson and Excel A-level is the curriculum may not be academically rigorous as that of Cambridge A-levels, which may not prepare students as well for university-level studies. Additionally, the modular exam structure can sometimes be confusing for students, making it challenging to keep track of their progress. Let me conclude by these words that both Cambridge A-Levels and Pearson and Excel's A-Levels provide students with valuable qualifications that are recognized by universities worldwide. Ultimately, the choice between the two depends on the student's individual needs and preference. Students who are looking for a challenging and academically rigorous education may find Cambridge A-Levels more suitable, while those who want a more balanced approach may prefer Pearson and Excel's A-Levels. Regardless of which A-Levels curriculum a student chooses, it's essential to reach the specific course requirement of their intended university carefully and choose their subjects accordingly. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.